we're we're talking about the the peace and comfort that you feel when being able to be open to love outside of the United States compared to the stress of trying to find love in the United States. Yeah, because, you know, in dating in the United States, it's like, you know, there's so many games, so many rules, so many things going on. And I just like that. It's so simple out of the United States because it, it's just as simple as let's have a conversation, let's, let's, learn, let's learn each other, get to know each other and go from there. You know, it's, it's none of that, you know, someone trying to finesse the other person out of, you know, you know, if they want to, you know, sleep with them or, or things like that, there is none of that stuff. And that's what I, I, I enjoy, you know, about internationally. Don't make you know? me cry. You ain't Don't make me cry over here. You preaching so good. Don't make me cry because you're, you're telling the truth, Pastor. You are telling the truth. I swear. It's, it's like hey, man, you, you I mean, don't have to. Yeah, the restrictions, you know, and and then also to add one more thing, so I don't want to, I don't want to cut you off, as um, no, no, you know, no, 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 I'm listening. And one thing for women, the reason why I see, the reason why they they believe that there's always another one coming because they get confused as to because now that they're you know social media is so is so big that they they can easily get um talk to someone or even talk to people on the street, so they have they're so uh, inundated with so many people talking to them, so now they confuse that thinking that oh well I could always find another one. But not understanding that a lot of these brothers, they're not really looking for the marriage. They're looking just to hit and that's it. You know, so that's the confusing situation. So, of course, a lot of times it's kind of like, you know, for us, um, but a little bit different for us. When we started going internationally, you know how you got so many options, your 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 Facebook, you know, messages is full, your DMs and everything, because you got so many women hitting you up and so forth. And, right. and that's kind of what they what they have. But the only thing is they don't I me. Mean, this is what i'm thinking that they they don't know how to channel it to find the right one in that you know they, they get confused to who is the right guy that they should that's be with. a good so point. that's just what i'm thinking you know so that's a really us, good we point. Know. <laughs> yeah 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 men are simple we, we're very very andre and i we talk about this but long before kevin samuel was talking like this we were talking like this like a uh, sex sandwich and silence we we were yeah. we were we've been talking like that <laughs> And, and it's not an insult exactly. down here. That's the other thing that's, that's so clear. It's not an insult to sit back. And, Andre doesn't flinch when I say sex sandwich in a silence. And she's like, yeah, you're right. The other thing that I, that I want to mention, now that you and I are are, uh, are are together, I talked about the fact that in in South America, not just Colombia, you notice that sex and, and sensuality or sexiness or, or femininess uh, or, or femininity opens up doors for women that may not open in the United States. In other words, here in Colombia, is it, you won't find too many ugly, if, if ever, an uh, ugly police officer. You will find a police officer, she has the brains, but she has to have the beauty. You will find city yep. council women. You will find school teachers that look like supermodels. You see, beauty is appreciated and respected as well as smarts, I noticed here, at least in Cali, I noticed that. How was it for you in, oh, yeah. in, in Medellin? Because we always visit Medellin, same, but we, we don't live same in Same way. Go ahead. Yeah, same way. As, as you even noticed, my wife my wife would tell me one time that, you know, they're kind of strict on certain job positions that you cannot be fat. <laughs> so if you notice that some of those jobs, like you don't see a, a, a heavyweight person in some of those uh, 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 company facing uh, positions, like, you know, of course, True. like, you know, like a, um, you know um what, what i'm gonna say uh what's that um victoria's secret let's say for example like like that you know you're not gonna see someone who's big or, or overweight there they're gonna make sure of that you know or, or even like if you work in a you know see like transportation whatever that person at the window usually they're pretty thin you know they're not That's overweight true. so <laughs> yeah so they're well, very it, big on it, that it's, it's just something simple as the tolls You'll be yeah. driving through the tolls, going to the airport, and there's somebody that's attractive there. It, and it's yeah. not just because, like you just mentioned, the size, but it's also the the look. The mm -hmm. beauty seems more friendly than just, oh, yeah. you know, a woman that looks like Barbara Bush. Shout out to Barbara Bush. Oh, exactly. Is, <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so but and, and that's the thing, and they love that too as well. And that's one thing I like about the Colombian women is that they they embrace their their beauty and the femininity and so forth. So, opposed to here, 
you know of course they embrace it for for you know different reasons or and of course if you you know look too too long you know you catch a case whatever united states but you know it's like you're like oh you was just enough you can, you can look at me just enough not you know not like how it is in colombia south america different countries how you know you know it's it's, it's natural it's, it's all natural i'm you know i made a statement earlier about how they treat you is also how they treat or, or, or how they treat you as a good man is exactly how they would treat jose who's a good man around the corner how they would treat the the males in their family their little nephew their cousin's yeah. gonna get they'll, they'll make his plate uh when it comes to if you if you come over to my house andrea's making the drink for you and she's making a drink for me mm -hmm. There is no well. I'm gonna make a drink for my man, but then you still sitting there. Andre's making a drink for any male in the house, it, and it's yep, part of the cult, it's part of the makeup. But but guys get tricked into thinking when they go on to DR to Colombia to Brazil that I'm the special one. No dude. Yeah. She was Respect. raised to treat all males like that. So don't get exactly. programmed into thinking that she. Oh, because you got American dollars, she's making your plate. No, bro. When you fly back, she's making her granddad's plate, her dad's mm -hmm. plate. You see what I'm going with that? Exactly. And I, I like that because it's, it's respect. They respect male. That's in the culture. That's yeah. one thing I love yeah. about Colombia because you know you don't you're not United States culture is about disrespecting males. That's that's point blank what it is. So that's one thing I love about you know Colombia that they praise male. You know, although you know you got you know some bad ones, whatever it is, what it is, but they still respect them. They have respect. And and I can tell you, my, my first my first time experiencing Colombian culture, my first time going down there, uh, I went down yeah. there to meet uh, this one guy. He was living there for about already five years. His name is uh, is Pittman, and he he was dating this uh, Afro Colombian woman. Yeah. And when we first went there to to, to meet him, man. Like she was offering everything to us from drinks. She made, you know, a, a pudding right there and then some ice cream fresh, you know, fruits Ooh. and everything. And, and like for me, first experience in that culture, I was like, this is this is nice. I like this right here. The fact that, you know, we got treated well, you know, because of, you know, being associated with him, you know, no matter what, being in the house. And I was just like, yo, I, I love this. You know, this is the culture, you know, of, of being, you know, nice to you, you know, even though they could be having a bad day or could be in a bad situation, but they're still going to be nice no matter what. You know, and, yeah. and that's what I love about the culture. That is absolutely you know, so. correct. Uh, I, uh, I, um, when I sat back and I saw when Andre's grandma uh, cooked me fish, she, I mean, she can cook, you know, grandmothers can cook. It's like oh, that yeah. around the world. <laughs> so she cooked for me and I saw her Let's put it like this. Andre's got some attractive women in her family too, like Andre. <laughs> and I saw the women catering to the men. And not like the men were just sitting around like, no. But it was more or less yeah. like because it was a I dude, it, it I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something I, I have never said to anybody. You guys get to hear this. I am still adjusting to when I see women do that. I was over my boy house, who's shout out to mm -hmm. my homeboy from Houston. And he was, he, you know, I'm, I'm hanging out with him. And then he's, he, he was, he had his date. I just showed up and uh, he had mm -hmm. his date with him, his girlfriend, his little friend with him. And she catered to me with drinks and do you need anything just as fast and easy as she can. I'm still trying to adjust my mind oh, to yeah. the fact that these, these women do this, this, we talk about a yeah. six foot, I mean, ultra chocolate dimples beautiful sister beautiful sister <laughs> and she was catering to us like what do you need you need anything else blah, blah, blah. Yeah. and I'm, I'm looking like <clears throat> and even though i yeah. i've been living here about three and a half years i'm still wrapping my head around this and it's amazing how that is a part of how good women are made now I'm gonna make make a oh, statement yeah. real quick, and I would love to hear what you have to say about this, because okay. you, you've interviewed so many people. As far as as far as us men that are from the states are concerned, 
I made this statement about I had to get my mind right about women to be able to find the right woman. I'm going to say that again. I had to get my mind right before I actually finally decided to move here to find the good woman. If the old womanizing Andre had gotten on that plane and moved to Colombia, there would be no Andre. Because women like her don't don't <laughs> come women like her don't don't come my way. How do, how do you feel about that concept of getting your mind cuz a lot of dudes they gravitate women to uh and the reason why I say this and I know I'm I sound like I'm rambling a lot of guys attract or or attract only Sasua women, attract only yeah. Parker Yeris women, attract only the Clock Tower Cartagena women. Let, let me hear what you yep. have to say about that. So, so here's the thing. I agree with you totally. Um, a lot of men, they need to, to basically, they got to clear their minds of the matrix if they're looking for the right one. Because here's the thing, a lot of us, you know, whether we believe it or not, we're bringing a lot of baggage from the matrix. A lot of, of that dating situation, a lot of the, the you know, I would say trauma from dating in the United States. You know, a lot of brothers take that I would say and take that, that overseas, yeah. you know, and, and that's the problem. You know, and a lot of times they don't even want to get their mind right, ready. Like, for example, you know, you got brothers that been traveling for so many years, but having still haven't picked up learning how to speak Spanish. So, you know, See. it's like you got to you got to change your mind. You know, you got to be ready because how you expect to get a good woman if you can't even speak her language? You're, you're sitting there using the, the, the translator. I mean, that only goes for so long. Once you start getting into deep conversations, she's going to really want to have that nice conversation with you. And with the translator, you know, you're slowing down the conversation. She's going to be like, come on, you know. You know, so that's one of the things. So it's like a lot of these brothers, you know, I see that the fact that they don't want to put in the effort, you know, because they're comfortable and they don't want to change um, their mentality, you know. And of course, you know, like I said, you know, from what you know, um, uh, from what um, Charles Tyler was saying, you know, you gotta you gotta change your mind from the matrix. You know, and I took that and ran with that, and you know, and that definitely helped because you have to come in come into it with a whole new mind, with a whole new mindset, you know, especially for a different culture. You know, because like, for example, here's a good example. I don't know that you know this, you know, pretty well. As you're walking in Colombia, you know, especially in a busy area where there's like tons of people, if someone bumps into you. It's like, whatever, that's just normal. You know what I mean? But of course, you know, True. in the States, you know, you know, people are going to take that <laughs> as offensive. Like, <laughs> you know, so it's, that's, that's just, you know, one of the things that you got to change your mind to the to the culture or just change your mind in general or leaving the United States culture or the matrix or whatever and to just open your mind up and to be a better person to find that better mate for yourself because if you still the same way like you said being the player you know enjoying yourself you know everything is all about party whatever you're gonna get the that's what you're gonna get that's what you're looking for you know if unless you change what you're looking for change how you are you're not gonna find something nice that's just my, my take on it that's true that's true and th that's basically how i, I said it the, the, the common denominator, if you go to Thailand, the common denominator, if you go to uh, Georgia, the country, if you go to uh, Ukraine, if you go to, you know, to Singapore, you come here to South America, Mex Mex Mexico, it, it doesn't matter. The common denominator of what the universe is saying is your behavior. And if you yep. are a, or if you are a person that only about the sex game, already about the party game, there's nothing yep. wrong with that. I'm going to repeat. Mm -hmm. There yep. is nothing wrong with that. But that's what the universe is going to give you back. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to cut you off. But, but also at the same no, time, no. it's kind of funny. You see these guys that will, that has this uh, this mentality of saying, well, you know, these are the only type of women that are out there. This is all that I'm used to. But it's like, wait a minute. This, this is what you're attracting. You know, Um and, and, and that's what kind of somewhat gives me a little bit upset whenever you, you hear guys saying that, oh, yeah, you know, that's what they only do it for. That's it. But it's like, wait a minute, you haven't even, you know, ex expand your travels. You haven't even, you know, you know, went further into your travel of, of looking at different types of women. If that is what, True. you know, that's what you're all around, you know. And, and, and also, you know, I've seen other men that, you know, they're used to that whole environment, environment, but they still want a good woman or still want a woman. 
So it's kind of like, you know, they're, they're stuck in that rut situation. And it's like, That's you true. know, they keep saying that they can't find it, but it's because look, look what you're doing, you know, your, your situation, which you're, you know, if you constantly stay in that little, little tourist area, you know, where it's not the good, the, you know, the best, the, the best. Thing. <laughs> exactly. You know, how you expect you're going to find something? I mean, and of course, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll label the entire country off of that one little spot that they only go to. True. And it's like, True. Like no, you haven't you haven't explored. You haven't moved away from that little, the little hole that you're used to being at. So, <laughs> you know, so their percep their perception is just that little bit. You know, the little bit that they do, they think that that's the whole country. It's like, come on, you know, it's really it is not. not. Yeah, not it's at all. not. <laughs> or even a whole island. Oh, I got I got yeah. a, a one statement that I get a, didn't get a chance to get to that I want to uh, share with you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the last one in, in regards to Colombian women being good women is one of the signs is that they are jealous or protective or both. You are a rare catch. I'm not talking about you, America. It could be Jose from around the corner that was a rare catch that they treat like this. I see too many Colombian women that are the exact same way with their local men so don't think that they only act like that with you because they know they are they are not the only attractive one in their family they're not their best mm -hmm. friend is sexy that their 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 the teacher that they grew up with mm -hmm. is sexy the woman that at the, at the work at mcdonald's i've seen some of the most beautiful women working at mcdonald's uh Do you mind so I say one, one thing? go ahead go ahead i'm sorry i don't want to cut you i'm sorry i want to say one thing just to touch no, on that no. one point that you were saying the fact that they know that there's another beautiful woman, that there's another woman that's even more beautiful than them, is, is what keeps them on their A game and why they, they constantly doing what they're doing. And that's one thing I love about them. You know, it's not like in the States how, you know, you got a, a, a six thinking that she's all that and that's it. You know, thinking that she's a 10. When out there, you know, they're they're humble with it because they know that there's another woman that looks better than them that will take her place. And that's one thing I love about it. <laughs> about the, oh man. I'm sorry, I want to cut you off. Let you go ahead. No, no, <laughs> no, no. I, I, I mentioned that earlier. I, I love that a lot of things that I mentioned in, as a man in a relationship in marriage, that you're saying the exact same thing. Because I'm, 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 tonight was dedicated to the why are the women like this? You know, a lot of times they'd be like, you, you, you'll watch a YouTuber and they'll say the women are good, they're, they're, they're friendly, they're nice. Nobody talks about the, well, why are they like that? Yeah. Why are the women have that behavior pattern? It's cultural. Well, explain what you mean when you say cultural. And so yeah. tonight was dedicated to basically talking about the culture of the South American woman. But all the ladies are really trained to be the best that they can be the good women yep. for the man that will come in their life and they know do not throw it away unlike oh, yeah. women back home in the states yeah and i mean it's rough mm -hmm. and especially with with the whole culture here it's kind of hard to do that for me i've i've had a couple of heartbreaks and everything which is you know in the states of course. you know it is what it is you know but uh, and of course that makes you hard it hardens your heart and so forth but you know it's until once i left the left the states when it's like i was able to be open again you know because you know one of the things you know like like you know i'm sure that you notice know is that they they give so much you know in the beginning that it, it makes it easy for you to open up and to open up your heart while in the states it's, sure. it's kind of hard because you're always thinking something's up you know what what does she want what is the the, the back what is the agenda that she's trying to pull uh, you know what's she trying to do and uh so you're always suspicious of everything and you know it I, you know internationally it's like man you know what it's so it's so simple for them to be you know doing the stuff that they do and so forth and you know and even like with like my, my first you know first girlfriend that i had like in dr you know one of my first international uh -huh. um trips uh well, I'm, I'm international girlfriends whatever and and right. you see thing about with her like she worked at a bank and so forth so she was like she was like a career oriented woman but she still knew how to be feminine and one of the things that i used to love that she would do is whenever i used to show up you know take everything out of my luggage 
clip my nails, my two nails, and everything. You know, I I mean, I wouldn't even ask for this. He'd just come around like, yeah, I'm gonna go clip, you know, clip your stuff for me. You know, and you know, of course, give me some food. You know, I remember, I remember this one time. You know, I was at the house. You know, I was there chilling, and um, I think that she made a mess. She dropped something. It was like a like. I would say like lemonade or whatever, you know, some juice, whatever. So I jumped up, like, hey, let me go help you out, you know, because of the fact that, you know, there's a mess right here. I don't want it to get, you know, all over the place. Oh, right, she right, told me right. to go sit down. She was like, no, go sit down, sit down. You know, this is my job. You know, and she's like, this is what I do. You Dude. know, so it's like, not only do they give their all, you know, it's also they, they know their place of what, you know, how to please the house, you know, the, the family and, you know, take care of the house and so forth. It's like, shh. You know, Andrea, <laughs> Andrea, two weeks ago, we're, we're at a restaurant. She said, babe, I'll be right back. I said, okay. She walks across the street to a massage slash nail shop. I said, okay, cool. She comes back, sits back down. She said, I just made an appointment for you for two weeks from now. This is going to be your, your nail tech from now on. Her name is blah, 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 so forth and so nice. forth. Now, normally Andrea <laughs> would do my nails. She said, "But I want mm -hmm. you to. I want you to be done by a professional. So when people see your nails, it's like my man's professional." Andrea, I, this, uh, this I think this is the first time I'm going to tell this to. I'm, I'm, I'm busting some heads tonight. Andrea, <laughs> hey, go on in, does go on my, in. you know, you know, I'm over fifty, right? I might not have hair on my head, but I'm at that stage where hair start growing in your ears every okay. week. Andre, <laughs> dude, don't let us go somewhere. Don't let us. Andrea's family told her. One of the signs of being a good wife to a good man, women should not see hair growing out your man's ears. Andre will sit me down with some. We, I'm, I'm, I'm clean, clean, smelling yeah. good. Sit down. Andre, Andre will be like, Andre will be like, sit down. <laughs> yeah, I will be like, I, now I can get the electric ones, that was, but yeah. it, it, it ain't nothing. Like, I ain't got no hair to braid like our Kelly back in the day. So let, let little mama take care of the hair, right? And she was just like, yeah. beep, 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 beep. And that's that's her thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, same thing with my wife, you know, it's like it's all about she wanna make sure I'm I'm good and so forth, you know, as far as mm. always getting my clothes ready for me. You know, my clothes already prepped, you know, set and so forth, you know, whatever I'm gonna have, yep. you know, she iron it for me and you know, same thing with the meals, you know. All I gotta say, I mean like every morning, you know, she's always asking what I want, you know, what we're gonna what we're gonna eat. She's right there cooking it for me, you know. I ain't gotta fight, you know, I don't have to do this 50 50 of, you know, oh no, today I don't wanna cook, it's your turn, you gotta do it or you know, all that you know, it's just all that stuff is is, is a headache, you know, and, and, and that's I what I want cook, to you know. but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's Dude. like, you know, doing all the stuff that you're doing is like do you really have the time to do all that stuff you know it's like i mean i could cook you know i was doing it before you know she moved in with me and everything i was doing it my own but you know of course every time i was in you know at the house in columbia i love whatever she cooked you know yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. she cooked with, with love <laughs> so and i, and you know I, I think that they appreciate our time i think they appreciate when they see us doing things as, as men they like my man doesn't have time to be in this kitchen like this not like mm -hmm. every day it's so like andrea andrea will see me editing all these videos she'll see me writing this book she'll see me training she'll see me doing and she's like he doesn't have time mm -hmm. for to be cooking and cleaning and all this over let me go ahead and take care of this babe babe i'm about to I'm about to do the laundry what do you need uh clean i'm like well i need this that that anything else you got any extra pair of jeans that you didn't for the wash but I'm like yeah well i got another pair of jeans over there let me take care of that just to say you be successful uh, do, do. Mm -hmm. that's why i sit back and i tell people and i'm, I'm about to make another about to make another confession too we would not be a six-figure youtube channel without andre there was there that's would be yeah. no way in the world i would be six Neither. figures every year these last three years without I the believe. little things that she gave me peace to do from starting the t-shirt brand to the Amazon to to uh the, the we got four channels, all this, all there was nice. no way in here. I would never be able to do this on my own. So when dudes sit back yeah. and like when I sit back and I'm like, babe, buy this, buy this, you get this, you get that, whatever the travel, all that. I sit back and I think that's probably one of the things that I appreciate about when I see your channel 
or when I see you in the in the uh, in the in the in the Facebook group, I see the same thing. I'm like, this man's successful because of the little thing that this woman is allowing him to breathe through. He's able to breathe yeah. through some things because this woman says, if I allow my man to breathe, he'll breathe us into a million dollars. He'll breathe us yep. into two million dollars. It's just like what you say. Like one, one day, I was like, one day, you know, I, I went to go help her out with the dishes, you know, and because you know I work all day, you know, for me, I'm, I'm a senior right, network right. engineer, you know, working from home and so forth, and that's, that's my day job. On the side, I'm a, I'm a, um, a um, real estate investor, so you know, I, I do flips and own, you know, real estate as well, you know, of course, and a YouTube. So it's like I'm, I'm doing all this craziness, you know, all this stuff yep, is going yep. on, and. And, and you know a couple of days you know I, I try to just you know help around the kitchen like you know i see the dishes are dirty you know i know that you've been cooking all day and i and she sees me i'm working and so forth but it's like i try to go and help her with the kitchen with, with the dishes she was like no get out of here <laughs> go go do what you got to do That's you right. know you ain't got to be over here i got all this stuff i got the dishes and everything yeah so it's like <laughs> say stuff like that you know it definitely makes it, it shows that you know appreciate you know what i do you know, to, to continue to keep the family, uh, uh, you know, afloat, whatever, or, you know, living, you know, the lifestyle, the lifestyle that we have and so forth, you know, Preach. so, you know, they're, they're about their life and I like that, you know what I mean? It's basically support and that's what I needed because, you know, before, before she was, you know, living with me and so forth, you know, I, I barely had time to cook food, you know, I'm, I'm doing all this stuff and everything and, and trying to cook at the same time and I got my daughter that lives with me as well, you know, half, half the week and everything. So it's like, life is, is, is hectic, but with her, being with me, it's like I have more time to, to knock things out and take care of things, you know. So make me be better, Dude. help me be great. Exactly, we're in several it's, groups. I, yeah, right, <laughs> you know, right, right, right. Facebook, you know, <laughs> you know Facebook right, right, full man, of just brothers, brothers, you know. I love the brother, you know, married. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you couldn't have that group without without you know like what, another. What, okay, the Facebook group that we're talking about, guys, is. And you, and this is a qualification. The title says it: uh, "Black men married to foreign women." We're in that Facebook group. Black men married to foreign women. Now you could—I don't know the rules to get in, but you get in if you want to. But we we share so many words of encouragement, so much uh, uh, video, so many videos that build each other up and let each other know that you're not alone when it comes to finding real love. So that's what group that we're in. And we we yeah. love to see that group quadruple over the next year because there are so many black men that are finding love and even black women that are finding love outside of the United States. You do not have to put up with that BS anymore. Yeah. And and and, and, one, and in closing, one thing I like go, ahead, go ahead, brother. I want to hear what you have to say. I was say one thing also about the group was that you see, you know, people from all over, like all over the globe, from I know, Africa, I know, to, you know, Asia. You know, South America, the the Caribbean. You know, it's like it's all over. You know, these are it's not just brothers building. from the states. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they you know, these, so that's what's these cool brothers are so happy. And you see the pictures yeah. that they post, and you happy for them. And you happy <laughs> exactly. for them. get you to do something. <laughs> Yeah. Because you want to go ahead and do so much your wife. Like, let's do this too. Let's yeah, do this. You, you know what? That, that's what I'm looking at. I, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I'm looking at y'all photos. I'm like, yeah, that's what they want to do in front in front of the Christmas tree like that. Really? I ran. Okay, I got you. I kid you not. That's yeah, like what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah. I wouldn't even hate. I would sit back plotting. Yeah. I'm like, all right, Christmas, yeah. right, the Christmas tree like that. Okay. All right, I got you. Uh, but put that in my yeah, roller exactly. deck real quick. Christmas tree time in front of. Okay, I got it. Check. That's exactly what I was doing. We gotta put that out there in the group, like, hey, you know, how about we gonna start posting our, our Christmas uh, pictures and everything? You know, motivate brothers, you know, the, 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 you know, put out more more good content out there. You know, you know, yeah. pictures of, of the holidays and so forth. You know, that that'd be dope. That'd be nice. There are so many dudes yeah, that need nice. dudes like you and I, man, because they're like, and first, I could. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, so I'm gonna say, and also for you, hey, thank you again. You know, thanks for having me on here and so forth, as well as you know, a hey, thank for all your content as well because any you know, your content is motivating as well. You know, because like I said, I love hey, when you guys be doing those those um doing those those contests together and so forth. You know, those 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 streaming and, and answering questions and everything. That stuff is nice. That's a lot of people want that. They need that stuff. 
you know, and I like that stuff. I'm gonna you know I'm I mean? tell you something. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something in, in honesty. And it just, it, this is like, I'm saying in front of the camera, but I could cut the camera off and it just be you and I talking. There would be no love crossing borders if it was for Andre being on there. I realize I have a beautiful wife. I, I'm, not, I'm not stupid. You got a beautiful wife. We're not stupid, yeah. but oh, we've yeah. got we, we, we've we've got wives that are wives, and that's the beauty that dudes see. Dudes love Andrea's inner beauty just as much they love as her outer beauty. Yeah. We don't have that's those right. wives like I see she with him because because he got money because he he got that. Career. Mm -hmm. They see us like a regular couple, and we look at y'all like a regular everyday just couple. And people want everyday couple they, they want to say they want to meet and say i want to fall in love and meet just a regular everyday woman when i finally sit my ass down somewhere uh and it's hard to find women in the states that can say that they're proud of us unless we're already there but she she's proud of you on the way there and a reason why i can say that because that's how andrea treats me man with every meal with every bit of support with every prayer with every time andrea do Andrea probably tells me that she loves me, appreciates me at least <laughs> five, six times a day. I know, you, I know the feeling. You know, <laughs> you, you try not to take it for granted. Yeah, you know, Andrea, Andrea, do Andrea make you feel, dude? Andrea will make you feel like you are like Idris Alba all year mm -hmm. round, all day round. You know, just man, they that's just one thing, make you that's one thing I love about Colombia Colombianas, man. They love to give our compliments. They Not are problems. queens. <laughs> queens of the compliment. I have never heard I don't know anybody uh, I don't know if any other country give out compliments all day long. Andrea yeah. gives out encouraging compliments, dude. I thought it was just me. Okay, I ain't crazy. I kid you yep, not. That's yep. exactly how she does <laughs> all day, all. And it's not like she trying. It's not like she like. Okay, well, this is my husband. Yeah. Let me compliment. Him. This is what she yeah, does. She's, she's like, genuine. I'm so proud. Yeah. Okay, so I ain't crazy. All right, good. good. <laughs> nah, you ain't crazy. You're all good. That's just how they are. <laughs> Man, dude, no. I was like, I was like, boy, she she was, she, she she got like eight ways to say I love you. She got eight ways to, talk, to call me chocolate. All right, brother, let me let you go. All right, this is Andre from Love Crossing Borders. We appreciate you guys, and you gotta get guys get a chance. To make sure you subscribe to the Solo Traveler O R D. And once again, this is Andre of Andre and Andre's Love Crossing Borders, and we appreciate you more than you realize. And we're out of here, guys. Talk to you later.